Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in our neighborhood and I uh, hope you're able to uh, get out and enjoy it. Uh, a little midweek thought for you. I'm, uh, I've been reading about sheep as I'm preparing for uh, this coming Sunday and uh, a thought uh, crossed my mind as I was uh, reading about the characteristics of sheep. Uh, one of uh, their many uh, thought-provoking and uh, curious uh, characteristics is that sheep are social. Uh, sheep need one another. Uh, in fact, uh, for a sheep to really be at ease, uh, you need to have a minimum of five of them in your flock. Uh, a flock smaller than that and, uh, and uh, definitely a, a sheep by itself is uh, it's not good for sheep. Uh, sheep need each other. In fact, they, uh, they gain uh, strength and security by being together uh, in a flock. That's why so often uh, when you see them, uh, they are all banded together. Uh, now that makes uh, for uh, interesting uh, points. Uh, one point in which is, uh, I think of uh, the fact that, that we as people, uh, we really do need to be together. Uh, one of the, the first statements that were that's, that's negative in the Bible is that it was not good for man to be alone. Uh, the, the church was described by Jesus as uh, us being together. In fact, the New Testament uh, describes uh, the church as the assembly, as the, the people together. Uh, the, uh, the believers in Jesus Christ gathered in a local community, uh, encouraging one another, uh, seeking uh, the face of Jesus Christ together, uh, serving our Lord as, as a body. In fact, uh, that body uh, image is used throughout the New Testament to talk about uh, what the church is, that uh, we are all the parts put together, but Jesus Christ is our head. We are meant to be together. One other apt uh, description that's in the New Testament is uh, that uh, we're like stones that have been fit together, living stones that have been fit together to make the building. Uh, the, the image of uh, we as God's people uh, gathered together. So we are a lot like sheep in many respects. And in fact, that whole matter of uh, us being together. Hi, Ron, I'm back from, from the phone. That's a funny story for another day. Uh, but I just want to uh, follow up and, uh, and tie this up with that, that great truth, of the, the fact that God created us to be together. Uh, God made us uh, relational creatures, and uh, the, the sheep sort of uh, point that way uh, to that, uh, that greater fact of uh, the Lord wants us to be with him for eternity, that uh, uh, ultimately uh, the place where we belong is with the Father uh, in his house uh, together uh, for eternity. And so uh, the Father went to uh, great lengths to uh, provide the way because uh, we know that our sin needs to be forgiven. And uh, through Jesus Christ, our sin can be forgiven, and we will be on the way uh, to, with, to be with the Father forever. forever. So we, uh, here in the church, uh, we need to belong. Uh, we need to, to be together. And uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, strive to do that. Let's strive to be assembled together as his people, uh, because we belong together and uh, serving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, whom we know will be with for eternity uh, through faith in him. Uh, so you have a great day, and God bless you. Okay, now, wait a minute. Just before I go, i uh, got to get a dad joke in here. Uh, here's uh, one of my favorite dad jokes. What did the dad sheep say to the mom sheep? I love you. Have a great day. God bless.